the Georgia Rental Agreement. In this video, we will tell you about the most noteworthy aspects of rental agreements in the state of Georgia. What is a rental agreement? A rental agreement or a lease is a document that outlines the arrangement between two parties regarding a property rental. The one who's paying rent is called a tenant, while the owner of the property who lets the other party use it under certain conditions is called a landlord. The parties may also be called a lesser and lessee. Typically, a rental agreement lasts for 6 or 12 months, with rent being paid every month or every week. There is one federal disclosure that works for all lease agreements in the United States. This is called the lead disclosure, and it requires the landlord to tell the tenant about all known lead paint hazards. They should also provide the state-approved version of the pamphlet, Protect Your Family from Lead in Your Home. However, this requirement applies to not all types of residential dwellings. Required Disclosures Apart from the above-mentioned disclosure, the landlord should also warn the prospective tenant that the apartment was in any way damaged by flood at least three times during the five-year period, due to an increased water level in an established water source if it was the case. Another information the landlord should provide in written form before the parties enter into the agreement is the names and business addresses of the people who own and who are authorized to manage the rental unit. Security Deposits There is no statutory maximum of the deposit, but there is a provision stating that it should be deposited in an escrow account established only for that purpose in any bank or lending institution in Georgia, which the tenant should be notified about in writing. The deposit should be returned by the landlord within one month after the termination of the lease. If not, the tenant can receive up to three times the sum improperly withheld plus reasonable attorney's fees. If any damage is caused to the premises by the tenant, the landlord should create a list of damages within three business days after the date of the termination of occupancy and give the tenant up to five business days after the same event to ascertain the accuracy of the list. If it is ascertained, the agreed sum will be withheld from the deposit. Landlord Access In the state of Georgia, there are no statutory requirements for the landlord before accessing the rented apartment. Termination of Agreement For termination of tenancy at will, which is a lease agreement without a specific end date, 60 days notice from the landlord or 30 days notice from the tenant is required. For termination of a lease with a fixed end date, no notice is statutorily required. Notice periods for non-payment. There is no set time frame in the Georgia Code for the notice either to pay or move out, which means it can be sent the very next day after rent is due. If the tenant refuses to move out of the apartment or pay rent, the landlord can file an affidavit with the court to begin the eviction lawsuit. There is no set period for the start of the eviction process either.